Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you one of Sierra Chart's most highly requested features, the estimated position in queue for limit orders. Now, this feature is pretty self-explanatory, and the setup process is fairly easy, but it may get a bit confusing due to the fact that it is hidden behind several setting windows. So due to that, I'll be showing you how to activate this feature. So to do so, go to the top of your Sierra Chart platform window, and go to the global settings tab. Once you've clicked on that, scroll down right below that on the right hand column and click on chart trade settings. Now, once we're in this window, go to the working order section and right below, below display order type, you'll see display additional order information. Enable that feature and make sure it's checked off. And then on the bottom right hand side, Right above the OK button, you'll see a feature that says Enable Estimated Position in Queue Tracking. Click on that checkbox and make sure it's enabled, and then click on OK. So now the feature is activated, and let me show you where you can find this information. That information being your estimated position in queue. So I'll show you what this looks like in a dome chart. So first off, we're gonna need to find a symbol that we'd like to trade with. So to do this, go to the FS button in the top left-hand corner, otherwise known as the Find Symbol button, and select the symbol that you would like to trade with. The contract I'll be selecting is the E-mini S&P 500 Futures of June 2018. So I'll highlight that, and then I'll click on the Open Trading Dome. So now that we have the dome open, let me show you where your estimated position in queue for limit orders is displayed. But before I do that, as I mentioned before, and as I will mention again, this feature is only for limit orders. But this feature is great because as the estimated position reaches zero, the more likely the order will execute. And as we all know, when trading futures, timing is everything and it is extremely crucial and beneficial to when we place our trades. So that being said, let me sh show you where to find this information. So being that it is a limit order, I will change my order type right here to limit. And because I am trading on a live account, I'm going to scroll way below the market price just so I don't actually place a trade in. So since I found my price, I'll place a limit order on the buy side. And if I click yes, that will confirm. And as you can see here, where I place my trade at 2691, designated by the EP colon, you'll see a one next to that. That's my estimated position in line. The EP stands for estimated position. Now it's worth mentioning that on the default settings of this platform, that the estimated position actually wouldn't show up there. It's only because we went into the settings and enabled those certain features that our estimated position is now showing. And this is great because now I know when I am ready in position for my limit order to be activated. And like I said before, timing is everything when it comes to futures trading. So it is really beneficial to us to know when our estimated position in queue is for when our order is going to be placed. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.